Welcome to Seawater Pro guys. My name is Mike and I will be walking you through how to change your membrane on your Seawater Pro system. So we're replacing our membrane in our Seawater Pro system. So some of the tools and materials that we will need, you're going to need an impact with the size 17 bit. You could use a wrench with the same ratchet. This is a mallet. This is gonna be used to get the end caps off because they could be a little bit tricky once the unit's been put together and left together for a while. This is just standard black industrial grease that we keep on the threads so that way the next time the nuts come off, it's a little bit easier, it keeps it from corroding. This is the silicone lube. This is what we lube all of our O-rings and end caps in. Not only does it keep it fresh, but it will also make it a lot easier to slide the membrane into the housing. And last but not least, we have our replacement membrane, which you can get off of our website at seawaterpro.com, or you can find these straight off Amazon. These membranes last about five years, and they are film tech made by DuPont, and they are a very highly respected brand that we recommend you using. And when you have these parts and all this, all of the system will come pre-assembled. All of the membranes will already be put together. This is only if you have to replace a membrane. And like I said, every five years is when you might have to do that. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is look at the indicator of which way the water's flowing. You will also see that the O-ring on this side is which the way the water flows through. So we're gonna wanna remember that. We're gonna use a size 17 socket on both sides. You could do it with a wrench, you could do it with a gun, however you wanna do it, you can. We're going to remove our rods. At this point, once your rods are off, these end caps will pull outwards. Grab your hammer lightly, give it a few taps. Okay, now, your membrane is exposed on both sides. You have an O-ring here, so you don't wanna drag him all the way through. We just wanna push him out. You take the bad membrane, you're gonna set it aside. We have a new membrane made by DuPont, Film Tech, an American company and a very highly recommended brand. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lube this O-ring up with some silicone lube. We just wanna get it nice and applied. We don't wanna cake it on there. Okay, then we are going to grease the inside of the tube on both sides. All right. Now we have to see which way our water's flowing, and that's gonna be which end the O-ring is on. So, water flows this way. So we're going to have water flowing through the O-ring side. Now, as an upgrade, you can switch to these stainless steel caps. They perform exactly the same but they are stainless, and stainless is a very nice upgrade if that's something you would like. Then you're gonna wanna grease these, pretty much just the O-rings. You don't wanna get it all over the cap. And notice inside this end cap, there's an O-ring inside, and you wanna give that a nice coating of silicone as well. Depending on what model Seawater Pro system you have, you might have different fittings depending on whether you have a panel or not. So if that's the case in that scenario, be aware what side goes on which side. 
So in this case where we do have a panel, it doesn't matter what side goes on. These go on quite simple, smooth. Just give it some pressure and you will feel it. Get a little bit of a roll going so that way you know they're flat. Now we are gonna take our rods. We're gonna rod this thing back up. Now, when you get a seawater system from the factory from us, we will have the acorns nuts on the O-ring side, just as another form of identification for us. On the lock nut side, we use a black industrial grease and just give these a nice little coating all the way around. Then goes our lock nuts. And now we rod it up. Size 17, once again. Kind of like a car, you want to do the opposite rod to keep tension even. And that's it. You want to be careful when you rod these guys up that you do not want to over tighten and the pressure that will build inside, it will lock itself anyway. So you want to be able to take your ratchet or whatever you used and you want to be able to make sure that turns just a little bit. That's a good indicator that your rods are not too tight. And that's it, changing your membrane on a Seawater Pro system. Thank you guys. If you have any more questions, put it in the comments. Thank you.